Okay, if you want, you can play after me on A. C sharp. A. D. On B. Just playing the D, D major pentatonic. So using this D major pentatonic scale, B minor pentatonic scale, uh, just as an idea here, right? What you can do obviously is you can write out that pentatonic scale for yourself if it makes it easier for you, right? Extended range first position. And um, and then just think about some, uh, some melodic rhythms if you wanna to try to use those melodic rhythms. I've been trying to model some of those for you. Um, uh, melodic rhythms and or rhythmic limitations. So a rhythmic limitation could just be like, I'm only going to play these rhythms or I'm going to play a combination of these and those rhythms. So like a combination could be da, 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 da. I'm going to show you that. So, um... <laughs> I'll throw in rests. So you could try that. Uh, a combination of those two rhythmic values and also with rests. Um, so th those would be, uh, I guess we call these uh, quarter, no, what are these, eighth notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're slow eighth notes. So eighth notes and dotted quarter notes. So you can either play this rhythm, da, da, or da, 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 and combine those and mix rests. Um, that's an option. Now, if, if that feels too slow for you, uh, then you can double that speed, right? You ba ba do ba do ba di da ba do ba 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 do ba do ba ba do ba do ba di, you know, or even faster than that, ba da ba da da ba da da ba. Okay, so pick two rhythmic durations or one, combine it with rests and see what comes from that. One, two, three. Uh. And remember, you can, you can focus on the, the creative choice, but you can also focus on your execution of that choice. 
two separate things. Recording yourself so that later on you can listen back and really get a lot more out of this. So specific melodic rhythms. I'll give you some specific melodic rhythms. And of course, you can always come up with your own. But uh, I'll do one. And uh, you can play it back, and then you can come with your own ideas. Uh, how about five, six, one? We'll start with that. Five, six, one. Five, six, one. Five, six, one. Just using the B minor pentatonic scale. that rhythm, put your own notes from that scale with it. Here's another rhythm. Do It's a good rhythm. Your notes, same rhythm. Five, six, one, two. Let's see how that sounds. Four, five, six, one, two. Four, five, six, one, two. Come up with your own variations if you want. Watch this, I'm gonna do a longer phrase. <clears throat> longer phrase. So it's the same rhythm, right? That's pretty cool. Four, six, one. Stringing that whole thing together. So this is a D major chord, D major chord, goes to B minor, goes to G, goes to A. So if you even want to go beyond that pentatonic scale, then you can get those chord tones and you can use them as destinations. If you want, you don't have to. You might be able to kind of hear that. And just knowing that if you're not able to hear it as much as you want right now, you do have a way to be able to get there. Let's give you a couple more minutes for this. 